What's happening guys? I'm going to talk a little bit about the new developments in Strongman with the strongest man on earth. Two things before we start. One, I'm a little bit under the weather. I sound worse than I feel. Um, but that's that. Bear with me. Uh, number two is I've dropped some new merch. As you guys know, 20% of the merchandise profits go to local gyms, uh, local independently owned gyms. So if you want to check that out, link is in the bio. But let's get on to it. Strongest man on earth. Uh, this is something that uh, the Shaw Classic and Brian Shaw is now taking on, and it's a new title that's now going to be doubly associated with the Shaw Classic. We haven't really been told what it means. We've seen as much as everyone else. Uh, but, I mean, cool new title, I suppose. Uh, strongest Man on Earth. But I learned that it's not actually a new title. Uh, this is something that Fortissimus, which ran for two years, they bought the rights to it. They've had that name since then, and now... Brian Shaw and the Shaw Classic has that. So now I'm not sure if that competition is going to be rebranded at some stage or if it's just going to be the Shaw Classic determines the strongest man on earth. Uh, but it's certainly interesting fodder for conversation nonetheless. I know that Brian's working really hard to uh, try to push the sport forward as he sees it. And um, this is a step in the direction that, that he wants to take to do that. Uh, so it's certainly causing some excitement. I saw this morning that World's Strongest Man has claimed Strongest Man on Earth Instagram page. So it's certainly something that World's Strongest Man is paying attention to. Um, but I think the real crux of it is um, there's change. But change in Strongman, and I'm only learning this as I've gotten more involved, is sort of the norm. Uh, we had the IFSA split, there's Fortissimus, there was worse people in and out, in and out. Um, and I think it's just showing us that it's it really is a newer, smaller sport. And uh, how that moves forward, it, time will tell. Uh, but the Shaw Classic is one of the hardest competitions to win. It is one of the heaviest competitions uh, in the world. Uh, and it's really exciting to be able to sort of have the stakes raised for the competition so to speak um, the title of strongest man on earth might not have the pedigree or the same history as world's strongest man uh, but it's certainly now claiming that it's a world championship just the same and i believe it's a world championship caliber level of athletes going you, you virtually have all of the best athletes in the world attending the shot classic uh, we all turn up in shape uh, and we're all uh, we're all excited and keen to go so that's really the, the lowdown on what the strongest man on earth is. Uh, and they're sort of new, sort of not new. Um, I'm, I'm quite interested in how this is going to go for the next couple of years. Um, the worst thing that could possibly happen is if the same sort of thing happens as happened with IFSA, where either of the parties say that athletes can only compete in one or the other because that's just going to dilute everything. I think that is the only negative outcome that could come from all of this is if, if it turns into a, a, a pissing contest between one person and another. Uh, but um, kudos to Brian to uh, take action on what he sees to be the best way moving forward. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know what the best way moving forward is, and he's been around a lot longer than I have. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see how it turns out. Uh, but in years to come, I cannot wait to compete in the Shaw Classic, and compete for the Strongest Man on Earth title, compete for the World's Strongest Man title, uh, and continue to build uh, the collection of trophies that I have. Uh, so really doesn't change a whole lot. I was going into Shaw Classic 100% prepared. I'm going into the Strongest Man on Earth, Shaw Classic, whatever it turns out to be, 100% prepared, very excited. Uh, to talk about the events quickly, just a little bit of a preview of what is going to determine the Strongest Man on Earth. Uh, we've got first a log ladder. You choose which log you use. I think the first log is 165 or 175. Second log is 185, but I'm thinking about the 200 log. Obviously, more reps wins. Heavier log beats any reps on the lighter log. Then we've got the max Hummer tire deadlift. Obviously, going for maximum one rep weight. Uh, that world record was beaten by Alexei Novikov last year, so it's very interesting to see. Will Alexei beat it again? Uh, will Wide Pavlo beat it? Um, yeah, be really, really interesting. Um, then we've got a uh, sandbag toss, which is the same sandbag toss they've done at the Shaw Classic in years past. Eight sandbags lined up in a row. We throw those back over our heads over a four and a half meter uh, bar. 
and the fastest time wins and more sandbags beats less sandbags. So that'll be a really interesting one. We've got the heaviest stone run, I believe, in the world at the moment. I think it starts at 165 and finishes at 210 or so. Uh, I've taken a lot of action to make sure that I am well conditioned for the stones. I'm going to be working really hard uh, to, uh, to try to crack the top three on the stone event as well. Uh, then we've got a sandbag into wheelbarrow race where we've got uh, a few sandbags that we've got to load into this wheelbarrow and carry the wheelbarrow. Then we go into an arm over arm. Same over our arm over arm as the past and I think same wheelbarrow that they've used in years past. Then we've got the leg press, uh, leg press, uh, pressing the car. This is a great event for me last year, my legs and my strength and um, really just super fundamental uh, strength movement, uh, leg press. Everyone goes into the gym. Uh, it's sort of like the lower body, how much can you bench type thing. Uh, which brings us to the next event, which is the standing bench press. This is a really interesting event. Uh, it sort of takes all of the athleticism out of the upper body strength movement and just goes how much can you push away with your upper body? So it'll be interesting to see how we adapt to a new piece of kit. I know that Brian has one at his gym. I'm sure he's training hard on that and all of us have done the best to replicate that as we can, uh, but likely the best bencher will win that event. Uh, and then we finish up with Thingles Finger into Power Stairs. This feels like a, uh, and actually the interesting bit is this is what we're finishing with. We're not finishing with Atlas Stones, which is super interesting. Nine competitions out of 10 finished with Atlas Stones. I think the only reason that this one has the ability not to is because it's two days. So we finish first day with Atlas Stones and second day we finish with, with this medley. Um, but this feels like maybe 10, 15 years ago, probably like Brian at his prime, what they were doing regularly. Um, they did lots of English fingers back then uh, and power stairs, to be honest. I'm not sure how much power stairs they did, but it's certainly something we don't see a lot nowadays. So it'll be interesting to see how that event goes and who's able uh, to maybe get comfortable with the things that we don't do on a regular basis. Um, but those are the events that's going to determine strongest man on earth. Um, and when it comes to static strength, it's, it could be true. I mean, we've got the leg press, we've got a bench press, we've got um, max deadlift, we've got what's going to turn out for a lot of people to be very close to a max log you got four events that are basically maximum weight. You've got Atlas Stones that are heavier than any other Atlas Stone run. Um, yeah, and then we've got a couple of medley type events, uh, but certainly still very, very heavy uh, medley events. Uh, so that's basically my two cents on Strongest Man on Earth, World's Strongest Man. My, my greatest desire is that this pushes the sport forward and that this doesn't fraction off World's Strongest Man people from strongest man on earth people. Um, yeah, I mean, I think um, virtually every athlete in the sport has World's Strongest Man to thank for that uh, and how the sport has pushed ahead. World's Strongest Man is imperfect, very much so. Uh, but I think they know that and everyone knows that and they'll continue to try to push ahead. I've heard rumblings of some stuff happening next year. Um, it's possible that there's some substantial prize money change. It's possible that there's some substantial change in terms of uh, viewer experience, uh, in, both in person and online. So I think there's a lot of change happening for the better. Uh, and if these two competing with each other means that they're going to continue competing, just like athletes continue competing to push each other to higher levels, then fantastic. Um, so let's just cross our fingers. Let's hope that that's the way it goes. And uh, yeah, hope everyone uh, enjoyed the little recap. Let me know, what do you think? Well, strongest man on earth. Um, how do you think that compares to a world's strongest man title? Uh, what do you think? And how do you think we avoid the, the fractioning that's happened in the past? Um, leave it in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, can the world's strongest man win the strongest man on earth? I don't know. It sort of sounds like the same thing. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, lift heavy, be kind, and we'll speak to you soon.